welcome back to Pokemon Safe Swappers. This is episode 21, and I believe we're still in the cave on the road to Lavender Town? I believe so. Now let's see what Joe has done since last time. And this music is incredibly creepy. I've never heard this before. Whoa, this is intense. Apparently our uh, Geo... Uh, Rocky Balboa has evolved to a Graveler, and our y Yakumo has been evolved to a vict Victory Bell. Awesome work. But it seems like all of them are kinda hurt, so it seems like- oh. Okay, I thought Joe might have beaten that one, but apparently not. So here we go, Picnic Earlier. Good luck to battle. Uh, that's probably not the- Best idea in the world, but I guess we're gonna try. Rock slide. Has to be on the sure side. Yep, that works. Okay. Fantastic. Sweet. Yeah, I really want to heal, because I don't think we need to. All of them are kinda hurt. I kinda wanna train some of the other Pokemon except for Balboa, but. I don't think I could take the risk, <laughs> in all honesty. Oh! My infatuated, does that mean he can't attack? That is very bad news if that's the case. Let's see. Okay, you're a center of attention. Oh no! Immobilized by love! Um. I don't know. Okay. Hi there, will you survive a double slap like the fairy? That is the question of the day. Okay, you're just under attention. Attention, that, that's fine. Because I don't think hi there is. No, he's not in love. Fantastic. And there we go, we got the speed. Fantastic. Alright, it was really too dark, but we got flash, you know? It's kind of weird to pull that. Pokemon trainers are in this cave without having flash. That that's very strange. Oh. Uh, I'm going to use one potion on a Falcon. That's probably not a good idea because he's a bird Pokemon and there's a lot of stone rock Pokemon in here. So that's probably not the best idea in the world. But we are going to oh. We are going to use Yakima. Still, this music is incredibly, incredibly creepy. Oh. We got a wild Pokemon, a wild Subat at level 15. Okay. Uh, oh, the wine whip is all gone. Is that only. Oh no, that's only grass move we have. That would have been really useful to have for future fights against rock Pokemon. Huh, I don't think we have any other at this stage, so we can refill moves. We do actually. Oh, fantastic. Good job, Joe. Uh, let's see, wait a minute. Yeah, I think that would be very useful to have for this episode, for sure. And hopefully we can get out of here at some point. I don't remember this cave system at all, so I have no idea what row we're gonna need. But we're badly, we're not in the best of state, so if we could get out of here, that'd be fantastic. I just remembered, okay, PG better not know Gust, cause that is bad news bears. That's actually really bad. Okay, good. We take about that. Most likely, yeah, we might take it. Okay, that's good. Thirteen. That's completely. Oh, that's not good though. You can't miss those. You can't miss this. Seriously. Okay. Ah. Uh, we're gonna switch to Bobo again. It's like the only Pokemon we have now. It's the only Ace we have. Um, the topic for this episode is going to be Summer Games Done Quick, a speedrunning marathon that ran streams for three days, I think? Something like that, anyway. But it 
It is a very awesome event because it showcases all the efforts, many big and small communities, uh, all the efforts they pull together to figure out how to finish the game the fastest way possible. And that's just fantastic to me. It's a really awesome idea. And it just, you can see some insane things if you catch the marathon. Uh, I actually didn't have time to see much of it live, so uh, luckily game, um, Games Done Quick are reasonably fast with uploading archives to YouTube. So in the description of this episode, there will be a playlist of all the different games they played. And some I think you should check out is, for example, uh, Trihex is a really good... Oh, Toyaku moves first. Um, okay, good. Um, Trihex is very good at explaining the game and is very confident in the, the way he, he talks. So his Yo Yo Yoshi's Island 100% run is uh, recommended. Oh, RIP, <laughs> Yakumo, you did your best. Um, so it's a very long video, so you don't need to watch all that, but just get a feeling for his counter style. It's very, it's very good, in my opinion. Um, let me think about the others. The Super Mario 64 Zero Star Run, which was pretty late, I believe. That was also kind of amazing to watch. Because uh, they always got a personal best, and they were like, they did some amazing, incredibly hard moves. That apparently it's almost impossible for them to do normally, so for them to do it on the stream was fantastic. Thing, just anything else. Um, there was a Legend of Zelda Swordless playthrough, which uh, I've heard has been a highlight for many. Uh, it's just a very interesting twist, not even picking up the sword at the, the beginning of the original Legend of Zelda for the NES, and using other kinds of weapons such as uh, the candle and the um, I don't know if he used the bow in the end, but he used bombs a lot of times. Showcasing different mechanics for getting free bomb drops. It was very awesome. Is this the end? We are in round 10. Do we have a map? Because this seems familiar, but I'm not actually sure. Let's see. Use? Yes! We have made it to the other side! Oh, thank goodness. All right, we did it. Let's see what it says. Rock Town. Yep. We're in the other side of Rock Town. Now we're just going to bypass all of the NPCs here for now. So we can get that heal on. Because I want that heal. Oh, and there's that love and music. Which has... Um, I don't, know if, I don't know if you remember, but I was talking about um, Pokemon Creepypastas a few episodes back. And that music has inspired a lot of those, I believe. Because you just, just listen to it for a while. I don't know if I'm not too, not that fond of this uh, remix or reorchestration of the track, because I think the raw Game Boy original Game Boy version is there's something to it that this doesn't have. I know it's probably something with, with something to do with the instruments. I don't think it really fits. Oh, because I'm thinking maybe like. Uh, the Lavender Town track is more like a... Um, what is it called? An organ? Mm -hmm. A church organ? Um, yeah, it's more like one of those somber tunes, I believe. Tied with uh, funerals and such. It's a very dire and uh, dark tune. In those ways, uh, I don't want to go really off track on that. 
Uh, is it anything else I saw? Yeah, that was an amaz amazing glitch run of the original Legend of Zelda as well. Uh, where he... I've seen a few videos on this. It's like where you can abuse glitches to basically reprogram the game. So what he did, he found like a glitch um, having to do with uh, ghost mobs being in specific locations uh, on the on the map, and then pressing the uh, the recorder and the sword at the same time, and sort of overloading the game. And then it reads like the specific names of the file names, and it just puts you in a random uh, block of the world map. And it put him in the final room where he found Zelda. That, that was kind of brilliant. And that just shows you how dedicated some people are, just trying everything they can and figuring stuff out. I'm amazed at how they figure out some of this stuff. So that is some of the reasons why uh, games done quick marathons are just amazing. Then again, yeah, you have to have a certain interest in speedrunning, maybe, to uh, to truly enjoy it, I believe. I also haven't seen everything, so there might be some games I've totally missed, and there was like amazing things that happened, but... That's just a few highlights, I suppose. They did a bunch of Mega Man games, Sonic games, Mario games as well, and it's a very offshoot. Uh, games that not many people know of. I believe a Hello Kitty game was ran. Um, there was this weird PlayStation 1 adventure game that looked really cool, but I've never heard of it, and I don't even remember the name. But that one I actually, I actually saw live, because it looks kind of cool, actually. Oh, I wish I remembered the name. But... Well, yeah, one more run I saw was the Fallout 3 speed run, which was brilliant. He basically abused the quick load and quick save systems to glitch out of walls and teleporting to other areas. And, uh, also using this kind of like speed glitch where the game adds together your speed twice. Um, there's more to it but I won't explain all of it because it's a bit complicated. But it was a very cool speedrun because it showcased a lot of different ways to abuse the uh, save system in, in the game. Basically, uh, fooling the game into thinking you're uh, swimming outside of the map so you can go wherever you want. That's kind of crazy. Um, this is bad news. But luckily, we healed all the Pokemon. Of course. There we go, that's a savior. That's the ticket. <sighs> so that has been Summer Games Done Quick. It is now over, it's been done. There's actually one more I'd really like to see. Oh, hey! Okay, Pichotto versus Pichotto battle. I'm okay with this. Uh, I'd like to see. Um, I think I saw Sonic Boom being speedrun, and uh, that would be an interesting game to see speedrun, just because of all the glitches and bugs there are. Uh, if, for example, you've seen, uh, I think Game Grumps did a playthrough of Sonic Boom. I think you'll see some of the glitches in the game just from that playthrough. So that, that, that'll be very fun, I believe. I think it's like 40 minutes long or something, so it's not that, that long. And you'll see basically the entire game in... Uh, that's probably kind of cool about Speedrun 2, is being able to see the entirety of a game, but in a different fashion. Very concise, but also kind of broken, in a way. Which is awesome, in my opinion. Because it's... A way that you'll never be able to see on your, on your own, most likely. Uh, hi there, you can take that on, can't you? Well, actually, Bitexel, if Bitexel has double kick, that would be good practice for him. Let's see. 
Onyx, and yeah, we got double kick. Fantastic. So the Onyx is faster. Okay, I didn't know that. And he's not old. Your defense is big, big guy. Whoa. Uh oh, and you're bringing my defense harshly down. Oh, you got you got some plans here. I don't know if I like these plans. I just want you down. Yep, there we go. Okay, that was not that much. Do both of us have like amazing defense? Huh. Strange. Anyway, we did it. Level 23. Other than that, not much has been going on. Uh, I've had to work a lot this past week, so haven't had a lot of time to do anything else. Uh, play some Rocket League. Rocket League is still amazing. Uh, watching some uh, esports tournaments of that. Just seeing really high level play. If you're in interested in that, I'd recommend uh, Team Rocket RL on Twitch. That's the Twitch uh, channel name. And there's also Kronovi, um, who's probably the best Rocket League player at the moment. Uh, he streams on twitch.tv slash camgears, I believe. And he also plays together with Gibbs and Sad Jr. Well, that makes an amazing team. I think they won the last four weeks of eSports, weekly eSports tournaments. <laughs> so yeah, that's some really high level play. And welcome to the Pokemon Tower. I thought this was one of the more fascinating buildings in, uh, Pokemon, in the original Pokemon. Because I didn't know that a game directed at children would bring up such issues as Pokemon that died. Because usually Pokemon never die, they only fade in battle. So you're starting to wonder what, what it actually means. There are spirits of the mischiefs here, apparently. I wonder if they actually changed this tower at all. Because I believe in the original you can meet ghosts. But you can't actually do anything against them. Oh. Hi, Nolan. Um, no. My Pokemon isn't that. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering if you were going to try and kill them. That would be rude. I wonder, can he actually kill Pokemon? I wonder if there's any lore on that at all. Awesome, okay, keep that going. Yakubo's got this. Even though he has the type disadvantage. Yeah, critical hit, okay. You know, that's, that's fine. We're going to make you sleep again. And good belly blood cut there. And you woke up. Oh, you just got to Okay, never mind. I tried. Um, but you're probably going to regret this. Just say. Oh, yeah, Pichero's higher level than mine. Uh, ours, I should say. Uh, Joey and, uh, and I's Falcon. There we go. Good job, Falcon. And yeah, there's no type advantage there as far as I know. So we can. Oh, that's a good sprite. Oh, I like that sprite of Gyarados. Very good. Uh, okay, let's try in some distraction tactics. Okay, your attack is very big. Very strong, Gyarados. <laughs> Alright. This battle is tougher than I expected. Luckily, we have more sleep powder on the way. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about that Thrash did that. Huh. Let's make you sleep as well, just, just to be sure. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And are you still going to be confused, I wonder? Let's see. Yeah? Oh. He missed! Yes! 
Thank you, legendary side attacks. Oh. 30, we can do something here. Come on. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. And it's over. Fantastic. Good moves. Good moves to see. Ooh, that's a lot of experience. <laughs> All right. Uh, you can keep fighting. Keep fighting the good fight. I mean, we could go with high there. I know that would be probably the best move, but I just, I, I don't want to just go with high advantage right away. That's, that's kind of boring. That way. Yeah, see, this is not quite as powerful, uh, but it's going to be an Arcanine soon. Probably, is it level 40 that girl, like, evolves? I'm not actually sure. Wait, is that too... Oh. Butterfee's grass, I assume? Right. I thought it only was bug. But I guess not. Okay, well, Bo, it's your turn. That might just kill me. Yep. That just killed me. Okay, this might be harder than I expected now. So I don't actually want to use Squirtle against Ivysaur. That seems like a bad move. But can we poison you? No. Because you just made me fall asleep. Fantastic. Uh, that shouldn't do... Yeah, that shouldn't do much. Awesome. Okay. Just gotta keep building it down. I keep waiting. I think so. Come on. Here we go. There we go. Poison sting. Yeah. No. Oh, you didn't actually get poisoned. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. I, well, I guess I made eat some of your Pokemon sleep, so I guess it's only fair. Getting the taste of my own medicine here. And I think I'm going to be dead after that? Well, not I'm just gonna faint, but it's the same thing. Pretty much, because, um, yeah. Not sure I want to use high there. Not positive I want to do that. But I'm also thinking, because yeah, I might just die if I don't... <gasps> yes! <laughs> okay. This is a way more intense battle than I ever thought. Oh, it's super effective too. I know the episode is supposed to be over, but this battle went on for way longer than I thought. I know, type disadvantage, but way more help in Kasuya. Oh, wait, no, it's Katabra. Never mind. It's all good. Uh, come on, don't make me confused. Wonderful. And it's over. There we go. You took it easy on me! Okay. Well, I guess it would be in big trouble. It's not. Smell you there! Alright. And that is the end of the episode. We're gonna end it in the Pokemon Tower. And then you'll see how Joe reacts in the next episode. Episode number 22. And you'll see me again in episode 23 next week, hopefully. Alright, thanks for watching everyone, bye bye!